Hello and uh, welcome back for my video. In this video I will show how you can create an uh, XML document uh, by using uh, Python. Uh, it's very uh, easy and I will show you how you can do it. And when we are done I will show how you can prettify your, your XML document so it's uh, easier to, to read. So let's begin. First you need to import your XML tree element tree and then we need to build a, a document so let's do it XML doc equal to et element and uh, called name root then I will add a product this product should be a, a sub element sub element is using like uh, the tree and you put uh, this uh, this element into the XML doc. So first you have the root and then you have doc and we call it a product. The next we want to do is uh, build a one more because we want to uh, put more inside. So we put uh, we will put this uh, sub element into the product and it's an uh, item. Uh, just an item and I will call, I will want to have a argument, uh, attribute, sorry, it's called uh, ID and this is my product ID. And then I need uh, a price, price attribute, should be 24.99 and then I want to say the currency should be a pound, British pound, and then we are ready to to put the title. In this case, I will uh, play around with the Philips Hue white uh, LED. So I just copy this here, and the next one, uh, one, one sub element more. It's the brand. I need to know the brand uh, about this. And the model ID. I have it here. And then I need a text. Which brand it is? It's uh, Philips. And then we need to save it to the document. So let's say it's element tree. And then I need to XML doc. What we're doing here is we just create a, a element root. It's the main. And then you have a, a element product. And in your product, we put an item that has uh, the ID attribute and the price attribute and the currency attribute. And then we add element more with brand and this having attribute a model and then the text Philips. Then we create a, a element tree because if you don't do that, you can save it. We need to save the files, it should be sample.xml and encoding. I want to encoding in UTF-8. And we need to XML declare, declare, and it's true. If you don't do that, it's missing the the first uh, the first um, line of the XML document. I can show you that. This one. If you if you remove this, let's try it again. So remove this and run it. You can see it's missing. So. It's easier for, for the parsing to know your, your encoding, so please uh, leave this now. As you can see, so on one line, it could be very hard to read if you don't have an XML reader. So what I do is uh, I found a code on Stack Overflow, and it's working pretty good. So I will uh, refer the link. Uh, in the bottom of this video, so uh, no, not in the bottom of this video, but it's here, so you can uh, put it in. You can see this is the link. If you follow this link, 
And then you can use the pretty file. And this is the XML document, and everything is fine. If I run it again, it's a pretty file. You can see it's much more readable now. So that's how you can create your own XML document and how you can use Prettify on the XML document in Python. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Hope you want to subscribe my channel to help my goal on 1000 subscribers. And of course, make a comment below if you have any questions. And I hope you want to like this video, share it with your friends and add this to your playlist. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. See you next time.